and Tuesday we completely disregarded the risk to reward ratio and we jumped on that incline bench and absolutely crushed north of two plates for six repetitions, 232 and a half pounds to be exact and then backed it off still looking reasonable on the incline with a 45 and a 35. Not as cool as 225, certainly not as cool as 345s or 445s per side, but respectable to say the least. That being said, we did not run into any issues whatsoever, so the risk evidently wasn't as severe as many thought it would be on the incline bench, and we'll continue to run the line on that variation, regardless of what the gurus of social media feel about it. Mid cable rose, some volume work there up to 140 pounds, pretty symmetrical pull, so I'm quite content and feeling that I'm pretty much past that frustrating injury period. Some reverse hyper rope face pulls here before moving into some tricep accessory work. We've got the earthquake bar weebling and wobbling here, 119 pounds on the bar. Wide range here because initially I was going to be working with sets of 20 to 25 repetitions, however... I burned out real fast here. First set barely managed to get 22, which is on the low end of that desired rep range. Then the second set just squeezed out 20 and then dropped to 18 and 16 reps per set respectively. Finished off this upper body training session with the incline tape presses up to the 25 pound dumbbells now on this. Certainly far from the most I've ever done here, but managing to clear 25 rep sets. And I can confirm that the triceps are consistently tender after this accessory combination. The close grip earthquake bar benches, followed up by the incline tape presses. It's not the most enjoyable combo I've ever employed, nor is it the most pleasant feeling the morning after. First thing, Thursday morning, lower body day. We got sumo deadlifts for volume. Hopefully they're gonna feel as smooth as they did last week. Just a small increase in total volume. We'll be doing working sets with 408 pounds. Let's get this bar loaded. Let's move some weight. Definitely a good call to roll back the intensity of sumo deadlifts and prioritize volume work. Considering that I felt a lot more confident on the bar, physically and mentally working with 408 pounds for three sets of six repetitions maintaining that working weight across all of the top sets a little bit of form breakdown certainly but nothing like i was experiencing when i was prioritizing top end prs that probably wasn't one of my greatest decisions when it comes to programming my training that being said pulls felt strong overall definitely a lot more confident mentally and this is going to contribute to a further solid foundation being built out physically both in consideration of actual capacity to move the weight as well as proficiency of form generally then we moved into some step ups a little bit more weight on the bar here still stepping up to an 18 inch height still not 100 percent confident but definitely much more so than when i first started this particular variation feeling some fatigue setting in in the lower body and not just feeling like i'm only going to fall off the box so we've got a little bit of muscular fatigue and a little bit of fear that i'm going to tip over not actually though and then we finished off with some sled work here volume work timed 50 seconds with 280 pounds for two sets and I definitely struggled Saturday morning with the pin press less than I have previously, but we're up to 282 pounds for top end. We're four repetitions, really hammering those triceps. Encouraging to know that I'm closing in quick on north of 300 pounds on this particular pressing variation. Backed it off to 254 pounds for two sets of four as well. These moved quite smooth comparatively. And then I did a burnout set with 187 pounds for 15 repetitions and my triceps were absolutely toast. Before moving into some accessory work to prioritize the mid and upper back, we've got one of my favorite variations, the close grip row on the belt squat, 120 pounds for five sets of eight to 10 repetitions. And then we went into the incline dumbbell chest press so many incline variations i am living life on the edge so much risk for so little reward 70s in each hand there 
two sets of 15 and then barely squeezed out 10 on the final set because the muscular fatigue most certainly set in and then finished off with four sets of standing tricep press downs using the v-bar attachment and then some overhead tricep extensions with the band for some burnout work but we didn't catch any clips of those because they're just not all that exciting to be completely honest so sometimes i catch them sometimes i don't Finishing Sunday strong with 375 pounds on the bar, eight working sets, four repetitions per set. I would argue that this is just as much mentally progressive as it is physically because this is so many working sets, almost excessive working sets with the maintenance of this load across all of them that it becomes a mind game getting back under the bar over and over and over again. But let me tell you, it really contributes to an increased confidence with those heavier loads on the bar. At least it does for me. Then we moved into a top end set of deficit deadlifts. Ooh, some form breakdown there that I'm not too impressed with. Regardless, 437 pounds for a top end set of four. The most weight I've ever moved for four repetitions on the deficit deadlift variation. So we'll take it. Load management was on point, so I'm not too overly concerned. 20 rep sets here on the reverse hyper and that is a wrap on the week.